Greetings, my fellow students. I come to you from the comfort of my own home, technically speaking, to bring information to you about Wendell Phillips, one of the greatest orators of the abolitionist movement that we know of today. Wendell Phillips was born in Boston, November 29th in 1811. Let me see. What made Wendell Phillips so unique was the fact that his speeches were so phenomenal that it would cause even, I mean this, even slave owners to applaud him on his speeches. He was against any form of black imprisonment, which is why he fought so hard and even went against the ideals of his own father to be able to bring equality just to black men all over the, the, the United States. Wendell Phillips joined the Massachusetts Anti-Slavery Society, which in that he, with he, along with William Lloyd Garrison, wrote the newspaper The Liberator. Besides that, he went around giving speeches and publishing many volumes on not only the Liberator, but also on other kinds of books. He believed that <clears throat> no man, no living man, should excel in over an audience. He believed that his speeches would encourage slavery to come to an end. Besides just Wendell Phillips, many others were also inspired in this rather in other ideas, such as not only slavery, but uh, temperance, um, education for the blind and deaf, utopian society, women's rights. These reformers shared a common view of a world united and in peace, where there would be no violence and all ideals would be welcome. Wendell Phillips used this practical view of mind to be able to encourage his audience and what, during his speeches. These other abolitionists and reformers along with Wendell Phillips may have been inspired by the, the, by the change of the market revolution, which caused not only a change in the economy, but a change in social thinking as well. This social revolution by economic revolution inspired many others beyond Wendell Phillips' time. Which is why Wendell Phillips is said to be such an influential orator and reformer. Thank you.